Hello there. I am going to do Arca at South Boston. This is my second attempt at it, and it will be my last. This is the sort of trap I fell into before, trying to get a good result, tanking my I rating, and my safety rating. It's bad. Uh, slightly higher strength of field, and I'm a much lower number. Maybe it'll be a little better, but I don't know. I am not going out for practice because even that got me X's last time and all I was trying to do was not get into anyone. I screwed up my qualifying lap really bad and ended up starting 16th in a 24 car field. How many people are in this one? 22. Um, It wasn't good. I did an okay job at first of avoiding things. I had moved up to the top 10. But then there was one where I I should have darted left, but I darted right. I got pinned against the wall and I couldn't get away from this guy. He like wouldn't move. So I towed. I'm gonna go several laps down, try to get out. Now I'm laps down. So even though I'm faster than a lot of these guys, I don't want to race them, you know? And then eventually I got caught up in something else. And I think I ended up at 10x, and I eventually, I just quit. <laughs> As I was trying to record, I uh, was mentioning how I don't want to do that anymore. I want to just finish out the races, but it just, it wasn't going well. So I lost like 70 I rating and 0.8 safety rating. It was, it was not good. I'm going to give it one more go. Because I like these short tracks. I think it's fun. But when literally every car out there is spinning out, what do you do? Um, I checked the results afterwards. Please Sixth, tell me some of y'all aren't going to race like this. They are. Don't worry. Sixth place was three laps down. I think the least amount of incidents one car had was six. So while I was waiting for the next hour uh, session to come up, I went and watched Arca Break Weekly from this track. And yeah, it made me wonder why I was sitting there waiting for the next race because it's just going to be heartache. But this is going to be it. I'm going to upload it no matter what happens. I probably would have just uploaded the last one, but I forgot to turn my fan off. So the fan was blowing on the microphone the whole time. That would have just been obnoxious to watch. But as has always been the case, when I do something like this, I explain what happened before. I'm not trying to make it look like nothing bad ever happens to me or I never screw up. I'm not saying that's going to happen here where I'm going to have a nice clean race. What I do need okay, to try to do okay, Justin. We've got two laps to get the job done. is not screw up my qualifying lap. I was really off. I'm gonna shut up until I'm done with it. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time lap. One ain't good enough. Lap time is a this is exactly what I did last time, except I was four tenths up, and I tried to push it too hard in the last corner. Sixteen point one. I'm running like fifteen eight, fifteen seven in practice. And then when the race gets going, I'm not spinning out like that. That was just me trying to, way too hard, but I don't do that in the race. What am I doing? Oh, results. We'll see, we'll see. I, it is what it is. I gotta try not to be so whiny and upset about things. Right now I'm in 10th, potential to drop as far as I was before. 
I don't trust that for one minute. It was funny coming back to iRacing for the first time in months and seeing, you know, this whole uh, ready to race Question. button. Question. Justin Swartz and Brandon Swartz, are y'all related by chance? I don't remember what button was. Mute. I don't believe so. Well, I'm, I hate to tell you this, Brandon, but I think I found your long lost brother. I'm sitting here pressing all the buttons. Yeah, I on think my your family wheel. has some explaining to do on that one. Got plenty of fuel. <laughs> that button still is the fuel button. I don't need that here. Um, what was I saying? People never hit the. Uh, Although usually then some dip will uh, cancel this at the last second. Or maybe it just does that due to a glitch. I don't know. But that hasn't changed me. All right, we're going out. I was going to pause the video, but I didn't need to. That's the end of the session. P10. Slightly higher strength of field, but I qualified. Well, I, I, did, I did even a worse lap the last one but in both cases well th this one i wasn't really doing that much better in my second lap the last one i was on pace to get like a 15 8 which would have put me top four line up on the outside pit road is closed right now i don't remember what you know what's annoying is i got this i got this stupid i gotta fix that i'm trying to make it so that fast repair I need it. I'll work on that some other time. Let's just hope I don't need a fast repair. You don't get any extra tire sets for this race. The dry tempers, 81. The air tempers, 78. Fahrenheit, 60 laps. 60 laps. I finished about 36 Follow last time. 15. It's just, it's frustrating, but this is what happens when you allow your eye rating to tank and you get put in these low splits. I, out of curiosity, the last race split like five into five, and I checked each split, and except for the top split, which still had several people with a 4X, every other split was just insanity for the amount of incidents. Good luck, have fun, everyone. Thanks, brother. So he is your brother. So he is your brother. I wish I, I need to figure out my mute button because I'm hey, annoyed I'll right now. Hey, be with you. People. Get ready. Going green. Good luck, everybody, avoiding the wreck. May the force be with you. Okay, just get ready. Good luck You're to right. the Swartz brothers and everyone else. Shut up, people. Come on, three wide on the first lap. First turn. Still bad. Guy was preaching about let's make sure to get clear wreck. All right, I got around that being high. I don't know which way he's spinning. Sorry for the no talky, but I just your best lap in this session. I just want to survive. I hate it because he'll call down low, but by the time I see it, who knows where that car will be? This car behind me, 
I probably should have just let him by when he was under me. He's got me all nervous. Your last lap time was at 16.0. That's your quickest lap in this session. Are we on the white flag yet, boys? That's your fastest lap. According to Crew Chief, I keep going faster every lap. So maybe that's how I could qualify better, is that they gave you 10 laps. Okay, I need to keep this car from doing that, because it's just going to make the tires mad and make it harder to keep it that's under control. Okay, Crew Chief's got to be broken, right? There's no way I've been faster that many laps in a row. Okay. Five. Green car under the wall. Hopefully he keeps it off of everyone else. Car high outside. Still there. Still there. Keep blood. Still there. Clear high side. Clear. Fourteen into the wall. All right. This is some nerve-wracking stuff. Driving side. Gone. He's still clear inside. E six. That was a sixteen point two. Clear inside. I don't know what happened there, but I'm just gonna let him by. I feel like he just threw it in there hard, but I feel like I was also a little unsettled at the time. But I'll feel just a little better with more space behind me. I know that's being a chicken. But after what happened to me last race... I will take it. Slow car down low, car stop down low. Sixth plus. Go high, car stopped up high, car stopped up high, go low. Car stop down low. That lap was at 16.4. Every time I hear that. Okay, 16's a lap down, and he's going to try to take the position on the 22. Whatever for. That lap time was 16.5. Go car outside. Clear high. All right, cleared him. I have a feeling I got... I'm hoping that 22 is overdriving it, and maybe I can get him back later. Right now he's pulling away a little bit. I'm too scared to even look at the lap counter, because that's all it takes for me to screw up. 21, I just saw it. All right. So we're only a third of the way through this shindig. Our step to high. But now i got to go high. The lap car behind me that scaring me I will be protesting that by the way you hit me on purpose this race has had some Cap oh, there's a 4x because I, I don't know how to go around Rex apparently but at least I kept going and the only guy that got around me was a lapper who was making me nervous anyway, so. No spots lost. Safety rating 
If I fall back to a B license, I don't really care other than the embarrassment of it. Because I've literally never ran an A-class race yet and don't really have any plans to. The track temps increasing. It's now 85 Fahrenheit. We just need to keep this car on the track. That's pretty much what I did in the first race, except trying to squeeze it between the car and the wall got me stuck. And getting out of that mess without just causing a huge pileup with other people seemed like an impossible task, so I just towed. But, uh, you know, you know how that goes. It gives you like 50 seconds of wait. And that's like four laps right there. So you're no longer in contention. These are all lap cars ahead of me. 17 is spinning out. Alright, navigated that. Had to get on the apron, which I don't like. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 1.4 seconds. The 14 is actually for position. Right now I feel like I'm using up my uh, right front too much. I gotta start uh, okay. well, back in the corner up a little more. Halfway to the finish. Half distance. Fuel looks good. Okay, this is 16, who I was ahead of before. Until I chose the wrong direction to go to get around a spin. Thanks, eight. Thank you so much. You've just done a sixteen point seven. Floyd car ahead. Got a car backwards. Who the hell knows what these people are doing? We've got like nothing. Nobody's going. The 14's for position. Well, I benefited from all that somehow. But it was absolutely ridiculous nonetheless. There's a reason why some of you'll never get to NASCAR. You don't know how to fucking drive and not hit people. Uh, are you the Barbie car? Does somebody think I'm a Barbie yeah, car? If you're the Barbie pink? car, that one's on you. You were not clear at all. Oh, that pink car up there might be the Barbie car. Nah, why the fuck did you just stop in the middle of the time? Oh, I thought it was going around there. Uh, I don't want to hear that. Where are you, car? I'm starting to learn, you know, just because he's going up doesn't mean he's going to continue to go up. So I anticipated him going back down there. halfway on now. We're only on 39. Oh my mother of gosh. That lap was a 16.3. I got people white names gaining on me. I feel like I've used up my tires way too much. Or heated them up too much. I don't know where is as big of an issue as heat on this track. B4. Is now 1.5. 
I don't know where nine's going. Outside. Clear outside. Clear. Oh, it's so scary. It's like he's obviously sliding, but I have no idea if he's gonna catch it, if he's gonna snap all of a sudden. Wait, weren't you just fucking talking about wrecking people and you just wrecked me? And that's why I try not to Get talk. Get him back! Get him back! Because you never know when you're gonna be the guy causing a problem. The gap to all ahead is now 1.5. Your lap time was 16.5. I'm taking a really bad line around here. I'm all unsettled. Car stop the head. Please stay. Go high. Go high. Go high. Yes, I'm going high. Calm down. I mean, I do appreciate it. <laughs> Get off the wall. Car stop down low. Whiskey River is back in my uh, sights. I let him go a long time ago. I'm so sorry. They get one. Car outside. Still there. Clear high. Clear up top. This is nerve wracking. Car high. Still there. Clear high. Up top. These two guys in front of me are for position, but I don't really want to really cause a problem during all this mess when they have to check up. Great job. Good to go. You've just done a 16.7. I mean, I would love to get these spots, but I am not risking where I'm at for it. Your last lap time was at 16.6. And Whiskey Rivers. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have blown the corner there. I could have maybe followed him through. But I did. Of course, Whiskey River has blown the corner, but 13 did not. Cars are in the way. You've just done a sixteen point eight. Car outside. outside. Clear high. Clear outside if you want it. Don't overdrive it. Get a podium here. I see the Barbie car. That's another pink car, but not me. Oh, don't hit him, don't hit him, don't hit him. You've just done a 16.5. It's like, try to get a run off, but all you do is spin up your tires if you try, if you hit it too hard. Outside. Oh, he left it open for me. Two to go. He's still there. This car stopped down low. Still there. Go high. You're clear outside. What are you doing? P3. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Ugh. Move! That guy screwed the two people I was racing over, I think. Go low. What are you... Whiskey River. Is he mad at me? Okay, just in. I'm pretty sure I didn't cause any of that, but I'll have to watch it back. Car stopped up high. 
Go high. Cast off down low. They're on the podium. Good Who's drive. Hit me? There's the flag. Get Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 35 job. miles per hour. Well. That's a zero X. Let's do the thing, same thing in Nashville tomorrow, huh? I gotta watch. Make sure I didn't... I mean, I took advantage, but I want to make sure I didn't, like, exacerbate the situation. So we got a guy who backs up the track. Okay, 22. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, none of that was my fault. Oh my god, how did I get a... Get a P2 out of that? I don't know. 13 seconds behind the number one, but... <sighs> I'll take it. That was an interesting race. We will go through the incidents, because I bet... There's a lot to see there. So we go to laps. All right, starts with three, three takes it three wide, scares a seven up, and we've got an incident already. Fifteen loops it underneath me. I remember seeing that and being scared, but I got around it. And stuff happens. What the? Why did that guy turn down into him? Six is looped. Was that from? He just spins it on his own. What do we got the 20 doing? I remember being, yeah, he's the, pretty sure he's the guy who backed across the track at the end there and basically allowed me to go from fourth to second. Well, third to second. I was making a legit pass there. Phenomenal race number 20. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was a nuisance. I'm not sure what we're watching there. Number four. Just gets plowed by number three. Was that? Let's see that from the uh, three's point of view, shall we? Was that called for? I would say no. Number twenty. Under the wall, 16, struggling, 14, little wall tap, wall taps don't interest me as much as actual wrecks are going to, 21 just spins up the tires and can't do that, still the 21, 16, I thought he was going to get the 7 and take him out, but keeps it off of him, but puts himself into the wall. And again. Wall hit. Yeah, it just, you got to be super gentle on the throttle. And if you feel it start going, you just got to let off. What do we got here? Wall hit. Does it lead into anything else? No. Six still sitting there from before. Here's the Barbie car. I think that's where they were talking about he wasn't clear. Now he's sitting the wrong way on the track, which... I don't know the right way to get going again. That's why I towed in my last race. How do you do it without... I mean, just look at all the problems he caused, or nearly caused. Twenty-one. 
Twenty just sitting on the track. Let's see a what caused it. Okay. He reacted to the Barbie car just sitting there, but let's see, does he think anyone else's race a problem? <laughs> he starts moving as I'm coming. Oh, that was when I hit him. Oh my god. I didn't even <laughs> That was not what I was predicting. It kinda sucks that I hit a guy who was sitting there for literally a whole lap, but that's on me, I guess. Um Let's watch this from my point of view. All right. I, I think what happened in my mind is he started rolling down. So I'm like, go high. But then he immediately stopped again. And then it was too late to. That wasn't nearly as bad as it was in my head when it happened. It's still annoying. But I'm not going to get too worked up about it. Okay, moving on. That was so long ago. That means we got a long ways to go on in these incidents. Eight into the wall. Six spinning out. Wall. Still in the wall. We're going to try to speed through this a little more. It doesn't seem like it's going to be anything too interesting. 17 is going like eight miles an hour and still manages to get to the wall. Spins. Does he collect anyone? Somehow, no. 15. There was a point where I remember the eight coming at me. Yeah, was this it? Let's see. I got a little annoyed, but maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, it could have been had I not reacted. Halfway through the race here. Barbie car. And the 15. Didn't I already see this? Or did the same thing happen again? Six. I'm pretty sure I came upon this at some point, right? Because this guy is literally rolling backwards. I mean, this is why I'm like, what do you do here? I guess. I guess he got it without causing any more issues. 17 just takes out the 16. God, it's just like... It's amateurish racing. And I know we are amateurs, but... I suppose in any other series, a caution would come out and wouldn't incentivize everyone trying to keep as much speed as they can while going around the wrecks. You got like the nine going super slow. The eleven didn't clear him before turning down, but what is going on there? We're just gonna skip. Skip. Losing control. Sixteen isn't clear of the two. Gets piled from behind. Track blockages ensue. What? Like, why? I say we're on lap 53, so this can't be. Can it? It can. It's just, I completely benefited from this, but that doesn't make it right. So I was passing this guy, and then I lucked into that, yeah, 22, I thought he got taken out. He just, I mean, he reacted to that guy and got himself in the wall, causing himself to spin, putting me pretty much free and clear for second place with... Yeah, two laps to go. 
No, I want to watch what he did. I, it seemed from my point of view like he was trying to take me out. I went back way too far. We got to go to where he spins. I don't know why he would take me out. I didn't do anything to him. And I'm probably just interpreting it wrong. He tried to do something, though. Maybe he was just trying to get turned around and in my, my pea brain interpreted it as him going after something. Now he had plenty of room to turn around here. He tries something. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like he went after either car going by there. Did he wait till he thought the 20 would come around again? The world may never know, but that's it. Um, I'll take a second place. Quite chaotic. Definitely not running that again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.